show. It's time, let's go. Grab your friends and get ready. Here comes our friend Nelly. Let's open up our Bibles. Become true disciples. Y'all ready to grow? It's the Nelly Show. Let's go. Yeah, and I mean, the cheese, it, it was amazing. I had no idea that you could stuff that much cheese into one pizza. Oh, yeah. That Randy really knows how to make a pizza and pray. He sure does. And he... Whoa. Hey, who turned off all the lights? Oh. Nettie, did you bump a light switch or something? Well, not me, Mr. Blake. The light switch is on your side. It's got to be you. Me? I, I was standing here the whole time. Standing where? I can't see anything. Here, let me see the light switch. Oh, oh, oh. Ow, that oh. was my foot. Sorry. Yeah, I got these new steel toe boots. <laughs> okay. What's up? All the switch isn't working. But actually, one second. Okay. Nettie, I, I have no idea where you went. Nettie? <laughs> Nettie, you did it! Oh yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you! It's a good thing that we have that backup generator installed, and you said it was a waste of money! <laughs> I guess you're right, but that was really weird. I mean, how the power just randomly went out? I wonder what caused our power to go out in the first place like that. Yeah, well, actually, Mr. Blake, it looks like the entire block is out of power! Actually, Nettie, I just got a notification from New Eastful City Hall. It looks like the entire city has gone dark. What?! The entire city has no power! But that means that all the popsicles in town are gonna be melted! I don't know about you, but I like my popsicles frozen! <laughs> well, Nettie, it's a good thing that today we're talking all about prayer, and that we serve a God who is powerful enough to overcome anything, even a blackout. Oh, you got that right, Mr. B! Today we're gonna keep the fun going with our main point, Jesus powers my prayers. Come on, let's say it all together. Jesus powers. Jesus powers. My prayers. My prayers. Oh, gosh. I hope that all of our friends are okay and that they were also able to pick up a backup generator from that 90% off generator sale at that store. Generators, gardening tools, pet supplies, and tuna. Ha. You know, I have a feeling that they did not. And we better go check on them. I'll go down to Drip Dry Gulch and check with Cody. And you go down to Miss Haley Beth's record shop and make sure that everything's okay with her. Okay, all right. Well, I'll see you there, Mr. Blake. Hey, watch your step out there, good buddy. You too. Let's go! What in tarnation? Come on! Why ain't this land turning on? I can't see nothing! Uh, Cody, are you okay? I came as fast as I could. Oh, hey there, Mr. Blake. Well, I'm glad you came when you did. I can't get this lantern on. And ever since we lost our source of power, us folks down here in Drip Dry Gulch have been more fussy than a bull in July during the bull SATs to get into bull college. Well, you know, I didn't think you guys had much technology out here. Oh, well, yeah, that used to be true. But then we thought that it was time to catch up to the rest of the 21st century. And we went almost completely digital. I'm talking about electric horses, electric TVs, even indoor plumbing. Did you know that they make toilets that actually flush? Well, Cody, that's awesome. Well, it was awesome until we lost all the power, Mr. Blake. Well... Now, Cody, this seems like a perfect time for prayer. And today, our main point is that Jesus powers my prayers. You know, Cody, the Bible says it this way in the book of Jeremiah. Lord, there is no one like you, for you are great and your name is full of power. When we pray in the name of Jesus, there's power behind it. Well, shoo-wee! We really could use some power right about now. Well, that's for sure. And I sure do love Jesus, but what makes his name so powerful? in the first place. Great question. Praying in Jesus' name means praying with his authority and asking God the Father to act upon our prayers because we come in the name of his son, Jesus. It says in Acts 4.30, when you stretch out your hand with healing power, may miraculous signs and wonders be done in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus powers my prayers. <laughs> exactly. Like, actually take this lantern that you've been having so much trouble with. Yeah. Let's see the problem here. Uh, oh, 
there's no batteries. No. Oh. <laughs> I, I think I might have some. Let's see. Um, yep. Batteries right here. You see, when we add batteries to this lantern, just like this, it gives power. But when we get the batteries in, it should power Whoa. up our light. Let there be light, shall we? <laughs> That's exactly right. And it's kind of exactly like when we add the name of Jesus to our prayers. When we add his name, there's power. Well, yeah, partner. You've really inspired this old cowboy. With Jesus' name, anything is possible. I'm gonna go tell everyone in Drip Dry Gulch the good news. And that's great, but now I gotta figure out how this power outage happened. Well, Buckaroo, to figure out the problem, you need to go to the source. And I reckon that that you might just need to find the source somewhere in the middle of town with a with a big blackout like this. Yeah, and maybe you're right, but where to start? Hmm. The, the power, power plant. plant. <laughs> uh, thanks so much, Cody. I gotta go. See you later. All right. Good luck, buddy! I'm gonna go tell everyone about the power of the name of Jesus! Jesus powers my prayers! Yee-haw! Hey everyone, it's me, Miss Maddie, and it's time for our memory verse. Remember, we do our memory verse so that you can keep it in your heart all the time. Our verse today comes from the book of 1 John, and it shows us just how much God loves when we pray. We can go to Him with all of our needs because He hears our prayers. So, when you're ready, say, let's go. Let's go! Great, we're gonna say the verse three times. First, I'll say it, then you're gonna repeat after me, and then we'll say it all together. All right, let's do it. This is the confidence we have in approaching God that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. 1 John 5.14 Great job, everyone. Now repeat after me. This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. 1 John 5.14 Wow, that was amazing. Now let's say it all together. This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. 1 John 5.14 Great job, everyone. That was amazing, and I love that verse. Now remember, keep saying it and keep it in your heart. I've definitely been better. You see, I can't organize my records correctly. I mean, sure I can smell, but there's no way I can see in the dark. Oh man, and, and organizing records is like the number one thing. Ah, oh, well, as soon as I saw that the power went out, I rushed over here as fast as I could. Well, I mean, I did make a quick stop back to the treehouse because I realized that I had my charcoal black bow tie on instead of my usual onyx black bow tie. And I thought to myself, wow, that's embarrassing. So I needed to run back and change it. And then I was like, well, I'm glad you came by, Nettie. Are you and Mr. Blake doing okay? Oh yeah, we're doing great. And that's all thanks to prayer. In fact, our main point today is Jesus powers my prayers. That's so good. Prayer is such a huge part of our relationship with God, but without the name of Jesus, there is no power. It even says in Proverbs that the name of the Lord is a strong fortress. Oh, that's so good. Man, you know what would be awesome right now at the record shop? If we could listen to the song Pray Every Day by Buddy Prescott. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I talk to God through prayer. God gives me courage to pray. Jesus powers my prayers. I pray every day. Lying in a scorch with thanksgiving and praise. I look to the Lord and His strength and always seek His face. It's okay, it's alright. Pray every day. And every day. 
power back onto the city. What? You do? Yep, and we're going to need your brains. And meet me at the power plant downtown. Roger that, good buddy. Head in there now. And while I do, let's check out the joke of the day. I could use a good laugh. <laughs> okay, see you later, Miss HB. Bye, Nettie. And now it's time for the joke of the day. Oh, hello, everyone. I'm Scientist Drake here with the joke of the day. What do scientists take if they have bad breath? I'll give you a second to think. A second over! They take experiments! Get it? Because experiments like breath -mer. Oh dear. Well, it seems as though Scientist Drake may be in need of an experiment himself. Well, I'm Scientist Drake, and this was the joke of the day. See you later, everyone. Does anybody know where my experiments are? And that was the joke of the day. Mr. Blake, Mr. Blake, I'm here! Nettie, thanks for meeting me here so fast. Well, sure thing, Mr. Blake, but how did you know where to go? Well, just like Jesus is the power source of our prayers, this is where the city's power source comes from, right here. But it must have malfunctioned somehow. If only we could figure out how, and then we could fix it! Man, this is quite the brain teaser! <laughs> <laughs> you know, this whole situation, it reminds me of a story from the Bible about how the name of Jesus is more powerful than any other name. The name of Jesus is what powers our prayers. Like in the story of two men who were followers of Jesus, Peter and John. One day, while they both approached a temple to pray, they were met by a crippled man laying on a mat beside the gate, begging them for money. Upon hearing his plea, Peter and John looked intently at the man and firmly said, Look at us. I don't have any silver or gold for you, but I'll give you what I have. In the name of Jesus, get up and walk. Peter then reached out and grabbed the hand of the crippled man and began to pull him up to his feet. Instantly, the man's feet and his ankles were instantly healed. The man began to sing and dance and jump up and down in joy. The crippled man was healed on that day because Peter and John knew that Jesus powers our prayers. Wow, that's so cool! Yeah, Peter and John knew that the name of Jesus is so powerful. It even says in Philippians 2, 9 through 10, Therefore, God elevated Jesus to the place of the highest honor and gave him the name above all other names, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth. The name of Jesus is above all other names. We can know that when we pray according to God's will and in the name of Jesus, God hears us. Oh, that's awesome. So what do we do next? Uh, let's pray. Nettie, you want to pray? Oh, yeah. Okay. Dear God, 
Thank you for this amazing day. We pray that in the name of Jesus, you would give us wisdom to turn this power back on. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. All right, let's do this. What could be the problem? Well, like our prayers, if we don't use the real power source of the name of Jesus, then, then they aren't powered. But maybe the power plant, well, well, maybe the power plant isn't plugged in to its power source. Yeah. Uh, wait a second. I thought that looked weird. What? Uh. Whoa! Now that's a spicy meatball. <laughs> what? Oh, it's uh, it's a really big cord. Uh, yeah, totally. Well, I think that this really big cord should be plugged into this really big battery right here. Yeah, I, I think you're right. All right, Nettie, let's do this. I'm gonna plug it in. Okay, <laughs> Mr. Blake. Careful! Careful! I don't think that did it, Nick. No. Whoa! Whoa! Nettie, that Whoa! did it! The power's back on! Yeah! It's working! It's working! Praise <laughs> God, that is amazing. We connected this to the city's power source, and it gave the city all of its power back. Yeah. In the same way, when we connect Jesus to our prayers, Jesus powers our prayers. Oh yeah! So cool! So cool! All right, let's head back to the treehouse. Hey, will you buy me a popsicle? Okay. Can it be frozen? I guess we can do that, now that we have power. Oh yeah! Let's go! Come on. What's up, everybody? It's time for the Core Values Workout. And before any workout, it's always important to stretch. So come on, let's shake it out together and reach it left. Uh, right. Uh, come on, let's get started with a jog. Our first core value is love God. And we love God because God loved us first. So right now, we're gonna say love God just like this. Love God. Love God. Here we go, together. One, two, three. Love God. Love God. Great job, let's get jogging. Our next core value is love people, and we love people because God loves all people. So for love people, we're gonna do some high knees. Love people, love people. Are you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Love people, love people. Great job. Our third core value is do your best. And we do our best because God will do the rest. So come on, let's praise Jesus for how he does the rest in our lives with the do your best squad, just like this. Do your best. All together now on the count of three. One, two, three. Do your best. Great job, everybody. Our fourth core value is have fun, one of my favorites. We have fun because God gives us joy. So all together now, I want you guys to show me your biggest muscles from all this working out. Ready? One, two, three. Have fun! <laughs> Great job, everybody. I hope you had fun working out today. See you later. Today has been so much fun talking all about the power that lives in the name of God's Son, Jesus. When we call upon His name in prayer, there's nothing that can't be done within His will. But maybe you don't really know Jesus very well. Maybe you feel far from Him or you don't know Him at all. If that's you, I want you to bow your heads and repeat this prayer after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for giving your life on the cross for me. Come into my heart. Forgive me of my mistakes. Make me brand new and be my very best friend. Lord, I love you and I thank you. And it's in your name we pray and all God's people said, Amen. Wow, if that was your very first time asking God into your heart, I want you to know that I am so proud of you. And I want you to tell somebody in your life that you love and trust, because they're going to be so proud of you too. Mr. Blake, Mr. Blake, Mr. Blake! What's up, Nettie? And does everything look good in the Treehouse Fuse Box? Yep, everything looks great. I even found that Cheeto that I lost a few years back in there. And boy, can I tell you, that Cheeto sure do get better with age. <laughs> okay, well, you know, Nettie, everything seems so perfect now. Yeah! 
I don't think anything can possibly ruin this amazing day now. Yep, Nutty, you got that. <laughs> Come back here, you chickens. <laughs> what just happened? Well, the chickens got all upset because of some bad news, so they ran away. What? I might lose my farm. <laughs> Come back here, you chickens. Whoa! Well, I guess we'll find out what happens next time. And remember, everybody, Jesus powers my prayers. Come on, we gotta go help her. All right, come on.